Hello, welcome to kidsbrains.com. So today we'll look at solving systems of equations. When we say solving the equations, it means finding the values of x and y. So at the end of the problem, we need to find out what is the value of x and what is the value of y. So let us look at this first problem. This is neatly arranged. How do I say that? We have the x term, y terms, and then the constant terms. The constant terms are on the right hand side of the equation and all the variables are on the left hand side of the equation. By arranging the terms in this fashion, it is very convenient for us to solve. I'll let you know how. Now, let me rewrite this equation. 2x plus 5y is equal to 14 and 2x minus y is equal to 2. Now, the first step which we have to do is see whether the variables are lined up under each of them in the same way like the first expression first equation has your x term and then the second equation has your x term it's lined neatly below each other and then note down what is the coefficient of these terms now x coefficient is 2 and y coefficient is minus 1 in the second equation while the x coefficient is 2 and y coefficient is 5 in the first equation so find out one common coefficient so in this case x has 2 and 2 so this is common if it is not check your y coefficients if they are tying out good if you end up in a situation wherein both the equations do not have any common coefficient then your step would be to make it as a common i will say y let us solve this equation uh, then we'll encounter uh, those kind of variety problems. I'll let you know how to solve at that point. Now, 2x plus 5y is 14 and 2x minus y is 2. So, 2x is common here. So, what I do, I choose the second equation. I decide, for me, the idea is I need to cancel out one of the variable. So, 2x and 2x, if I need to cancel out, then I need to subtract. So, I subtract the second equation with minus 1. So your plus 2x becomes minus and your plus y become minus y becomes plus and your plus 2 becomes minus. Now I add both the equations so 2x minus 2x this cancels out. Now 5y plus y becomes 6y is equal to 14 minus 2 is 12. So now your y is 12 by 6 which is 2. So y is 2. After getting the value of y, we substitute this back in the original equation. That is 2x minus y is equal to 2. You can choose any of the equation. Substitute for y. 2x minus 2 is equal to 2. So 2x is equal to 2 plus 2, 4. So x is again 4 divided by 2. x is again so this is how we have found out the values of y and x we have solved this equation now let us look at the second example now in this case it is not arranged one below the other if you look at here the y is in the left hand side your x and constant terms are on the right hand side so to solve this equation easily our main motto is to keep all the constants on the right hand side and arrange your variables on the left hand side starting with x and then y so you take the first equation, we'll get this 4x. Now I would consider this equal to as a kind of a magic bridge, okay? You, you can visualize this in any way. So this magic bridge is going to convert your positive terms into negative, negative terms into positive, your multiplications into divisions, your divisions into multiplications. So when this bridge is crossed on either side, say from right to left or left to right, imagine that your operation changes. If it's positive, then it is changed into negative. Negative becomes positive. Multiplication becomes division and division becomes multiplication. If you imagine this magic bridge, then it is easier at many points to solve this equation. So now, the 4x which is positive crosses this bridge it becomes negative so it is minus 4x y which stays on the left hand side stays there equal to minus 5 which is on the right hand side stays there now 
In the second equation, minus 2x, when it crosses this magic bridge, it becomes plus 2x, plus y stays there equal to 1. Now, when we look at both the equations, if you look at the coefficient of x, it is not same. We cannot do the one which method which we did in the previous equation, in the pre previous problem. So here, if you look at the coefficients of y, it is same. So you have over plus 1, plus 1 y. So now what we'll do, we'll again do a subtraction. In this case, y, sh y will cancel out. Okay. So when I do the subtraction, y is cancelling out. So I'm going to multiply your second equation by negative 1. So it is minus, minus, minus. So negative 1, you're mi so multiplying to the second equation. It means you will have to multiply both for the left hand side and the right hand side. So for the complete equation, you need to multiply. So plus y minus y gets cancelled out. Now minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x is equal to minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. So now x is equal to 1. Now substitute this back into the original equation. So now y is equal to 4x minus 5. So y is equal to 4 into 1. 4 minus 5. So this is minus 1. So y is minus 1. So we found out what is the solution for x and y for the second equation too. I hope this explanation is clear. For any questions, please do leave the comments below and like the video for more problems to come. Thank you.